Hello, citizens, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. You all know that my secret identity is Adam, aka Swimming Bird. Today, I'm going to be trying out a few uh, superhero costumes, and uh, I want you guys to tell me which one you think should be Goostin's protector. So I'm going to head in here, and we'll do a little changing. This is the first option. This is Bear Wright, a former hunter who was injured in a tragic hunting accident, ironically, by a bear. He has now devoted himself to truth and justice. Da -da -da -da. So he's more of a dark superhero. Then we've got this guy. Bam. Bam. And... Bam! The Elephant Man! The only thing as big as his heart is his unusually large bone structure. But that just means he's that much more devoted to justice and freedom. Da 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 da! Bam! <laughs> and then the last one here. Let's see. This is my personal favorite so far. Bam. Bam. And... Bam! Fighting Frog Boy! A former uh, Olympic swimmer who got a bronze medal and was disqualified for being too awesome. He's also an orphan, and he can use his mechanical frog eyes to see into the future. So, I don't know which one you guys like the best. I'm a fan of Fighting Frog Boy. The other two are okay, but, you know, the, I'm gonna go for a more, you know, powerful superhero than maybe one with a dark past or something. Anyways, Gustin needs a protector, and I hope that the mayor can do that. Most rich people have secret identities as superheroes, I, th I think, so. I got a few letters. Oh, I, I sent stuff to a bunch of people, so that's pretty awesome. I'll have to read those in a little bit. I sent, like, Graham, I sent him a, uh... I think I sent him the Metroid. I gave Avery the, the one-up mushroom so that he wouldn't die from being sick. And then I gave Tangy a superstar, because she's a superstar. I'm just I'm sending all my Nintendo items to people so that they uh, they go to a good home instead of me just selling them, because I have so much you know stuff, I don't have a room. We've got our new sign today, our little uh, design sign. So I'm gonna put a new design on here and advertise the Tiny Swords exhibit. And as you can see, Da, 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 da. I made a sign for it. Basically just took a picture of the Jurassic Park logo <laughs> and made it into a pattern. I actually, I want to go in and edit the text so that it says Tiny Soars instead of Jurassic Park. So that's a work in progress, but I thought I'd advertise that. Today we're going to head over, and uh, it's not just about superheroes today. I'm going to head to Shampoodle because we've unlocked a new feature in Shampoodle. I unlocked it yesterday, but I haven't used it yet. I was like, i got to hold off. I didn't realize that I was going to unlock it, so otherwise I would have, you know, had that filmed. But today we're going to do it, and as you can see... Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Um, you can see that the machine has been changed a bit, and there's also this little cart because we can now get contacts, basically, to change our eye color. So let's head in here. We can only do this or a haircut, so we're going to do this today instead. So we're going to do color contacts and pick an eye color. Let's see. 3000 That's pretty expensive. It's the same as a haircut. All right. She's going to take my... Oh, no. She knows who I am. Crap. She knows my secret identity. My robotic frog eyes. All right. I'm having a dream. In my dream, I'm visiting a quaint little town. What about this town leaves the biggest impression on you? The vast sky, the large sea... So I can do blue, green... Or, uh, or other blue, maybe. It's like a lighter blue. I'm going to say the large trees, because I think that's going to be green. I see the large trees have left an impression on you. What about those trees captures your heart, so? The abundant leaves, the sturdy trunks, or the endless shade. I bet the abundant leaves would give me uh, green eyes. Oh, that's perfect, sugar. I know exactly that. Color reflecting in the eyes of your heart. Now let's make it reflect in your real eyes, too. Oh, here we go. I have kind of like hazel greeny eyes in real life, so that's what I'm going to go for. Oh, it's got a Pikmin flower on it. That's crazy. Whoa. And... Ha-ha! Green eyes. Ta-da! Oh, it looks fabulous. Nice. Now that I put on my Robo Frog goggles again. It almost... Yeah, it like had a flower thing come out of it. That was crazy. But it reminded me of like a Pikmin-esque thing. Weird machine. Anyways, so now I have got cool eyes. I'm going to take this this off real quick so that we can see. I'll put my uh, my other mask, my standard superhero mask back on. There we go. And I'll zoom in a little bit. You can't really see here too well. We're going to head out. And uh, I'm going to go get my coffee and do all that stuff. And I'll do a little zoom in. I want to see these eyes. These special eyes. My brand. All right. 
It looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm not used to it yet, because I usually have the, you know, the black eyes, or whatever. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to do my inventory. That'll zoom way in, won't it? Oh, wait. Oh, when I'm in my house, I can do it. I'll wait until I get into a place that I can do that. Let's see. The standee, custom design sign. Not a standee. The standee's like the tall one. I gotta do that, too. But let's go grab our coffee with our new eyes. We'll see who recognizes us in our disguise. That was a weird rhyme. Maybe, maybe fighting frog boy should do, like, speak in rhymes. That would be kind of cool. Anyways. Or annoying. <laughs> Chill out in this cafe is, like, the most relaxing thing ever. We can just sit and talk about boys. <laughs> What, what type of coffee do you like? Coffee's a pretty trendy drink nowadays. So drink it in this cool cafe. It makes me super trendy. Some people like their coffee a bit bitter, but I only protect... It's only... <laughs> I always protect it. It's only perfect for me with two spoonfuls of sugar. Lump off. It's okay, so I... She, she's two spoons. I think also Tangy is two spoonfuls of sugar. I'm not really sure. Look, you can see behind my mask. It's weird. It's so flat. Let's get a takeout coffee. I was actually going to sit there today, but I forgot. Oh, well, we can take this on the go. We'll head over to the police station and just see what else is going on in town. I'll probably do a little bit of a short video today, guys, because uh, I've got to catch up on some other stuff. So I'm going to see. Thank you very much. Da -da -da -da. But hopefully my, my superhero costumes will give you something to think about in the meantime. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and tell me which one you like the best. Because <laughs> Gustin does need a protector, I think. And we gotta make sure that no crime happens. We've got police now, but I'm not sure. Should I, should I like let Copper in on my secret? Maybe he'll be my Commissioner Gordon and kind of confidant in this. I don't know. Anything? Ooh, somebody left a piece of paper. Hello, Pad. It looks like you got yourself some ribbon paper there. Do you want to keep that item? I'll take it. It's all yours, citizen. How does he... Oh, he doesn't know that I'm the mayor. Ha ha ha. Good afternoon, citizen. How can I be of assistance? What's new in town, copper? I hear Sahara is in town. I believe she's out selling wallpaper and carpet. Okay. Let's see if I can find Sahara. Maybe we can do that. Anyways, I just want to check what's going on. I guess we know that there's nobody in the plaza then. It's like a lot easier to know what's going on with copper here. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, I want to... Hey, how's it going, Graham? So I've got big news, Adam. I'm moving away from Gustin soon. Do you think people will miss me? I know I'll miss everyone at least. I'm making my big axe out on the 22nd of the month. That's the plan, baby. Don't go! Wow, if you feel that strong, then maybe I shouldn't be moving. Yeah, I'll stay in town, Adam. Let's try to be better friends, okay? I know I will. Jeez, why won't the people that I want to leave try to leave? <laughs> it's always the ones that I like. How's it going, Tangy? Ahoy! Hello, hello, sweat man. What's up? I just want to chat. Hey, hey, guess what I've got in my pockets right now? Yeah, it's a great parka. Want to trade something for it? Hmm, how about, well, let's see. Okay, your elephant tea. How about it? I do kind of want to see what the great parka looks like, so let's do it. Yippee, let's try it, sweatband. I guess the elephant man might be out of the <laughs> running for the superhero. I can order another elephant tea, but, jeez. Now she, now she can be the elephant man. I'll take good care of it. I hope we can trade again some other time, sweatband. Oh my god. She's the Elephant Man! She's the new Elephant Man. Crazy. This is the first time Tangy has changed her tea since the beginning. Maybe she can be the Elephant Cat? Or the pack the pack a, pack a cat Kitty? I don't know. Pachyderm? Something like that. She'll be my, my uh, sidekick. So yeah, I guess now it's between the Fighting, <laughs> the fighting Frog Boy and... Uh, what's the other one? Bear Wright. Yeah. <laughs> I like his name a lot. <laughs> But I don't like, I don't know, I think a, a more light-hearted superhero would fit Goostin better than a darker guy who had his eye mauled out by a bear. How's it going, Cranston? Hey, 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 Schmoopy, it's perfect weather outside for, uh, chillin'. Seriously, new rules. So what can I do for you? What's the latest, buddy? I might have something I want to give to Tangy, but I'm so hungry I can't move very far. <laughs> She's right over at the plaza. <laughs> what? A oh, little dingus. Come on. Cranston, I think he's changed. He changed his to the one that Genji is wearing. They're, the only person, I think, that we've got now that hasn't really tried to change their shirt is Elvis. It's cool how, like, in the old game, they used to do it constantly. I think because there was less stuff for them to do. It was just like, I guess we'll make them change their clothes a lot so that it looks like they're active. But now it's like, yeah, they, they do it a lot more rarely. Sometimes you'll give them clothes and they won't even change into it. What is it? A lovely end table. 
Finally got my hands on it. I'm so happy. What are you gonna give me, though? Da -da -da -da. Oh, it's a shirt. I gotta try out that parka that she gave me, too. A tulip tea. She's just full of clothes right now. This, is, this episode's all about clothes and eyes. Let's try this on. Ugh. <laughs> Not a fan of that one. It's okay, though. Let's try the gray parka. That's <laughs> this, I look like I'm, like, a superhero who forgot to take off part of his disguise. <laughs> so I'm just, like, walking around. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, let's change back. I might use that great parka later. But I gotta get back in my fighting frog boy uniform. There we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let me know what superhero you want to see. And uh, next time, I think maybe we'll do the dream suite. I've got a town that I really want to visit. And uh, Danielle found it for me. And I think we're going to head there next. So I'll see you guys next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Chunk is in the house. My disagreement joke is a thing to care what ails you. Have you heard that gestures can mean different things in different countries? It's true. Recently I learned something interesting about the gesture of shaking your head like this. We think of it as, no, that's not true, when we shake our head left and right. But to people in other parts of the world, it means, yes, that's right. Confusing, huh? What do you think? Are you surprised to hear that? My stories are always both really funny and highly educational. Hey now! Everyone in the audience doesn't need to agree all at once. <laughs> that was may maybe one of the lamer ones, Shrunk. Come on. So I says, hey, should Shrunk be a comedian? And they just went.